Hello, my beautiful Pisces. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerzen.com, here to bring you your monthly love forecast for June 5th to the 30th. Guys, don't forget to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. I know uh, lots going on right now in the world. I love you guys so much. Let's talk about what's gonna happen here today. All right, we're gonna go over your overall uh, love life, then advice for your love life, then we're gonna pull a couple cards for your career and finance, as well as advice, and then health and wellness. So stick with me till the end. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, let's jump right in. So what is going on with my Pisces romantic love life for June 5th to the 30th? What's going on with my Pisces romantic love life for June 5th to the 30th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, feels good. Pisces romantic love life for June 5th to the 30th. Pisces romantic love life for June 5th to the 30th. Show me the cards I need to see. Pisces romantic love life for June 5th to the 30th. Pisces romantic love life June 5th to the 30th. Okay, that feels good. All right, so let's look at the current situation here. All right, so there's a lot of confusion here with the moon card energy. Um, it does have the vibe of, for me, um, that there is something hidden, there's something deceptive. Um, it could be something around loyalty or friendliness here. Um, and I do see that there is a feather in this card on this person's sleeve, actually. There's something to do with truth here. Somebody wants some kind of truth here. Um, all right, so let's keep going. Why? This is causing a lot of stress and anxiety and sleepless nights here. The fish card could represent a flow of emotions around situations. So someone's emotions are really running high here, okay? Or it could be because of a career in finance that could be causing a lot of worry, a lot of confusion around the situation, a lot of hidden things here, um, a lot of hidden perils here. Yeah, I feel, I, I feel like... Um, for some reason, uh, the intuition for me, it, it's like someone's intuition is being interfered with. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Uh, possibly because of friends or loyalty or something to do with that and, and something to do with some kind of truth around that, which is causing some kind of confusion, worry, and anxiety, which is making their um, somebody's emotions run really high here. Nines are about wishes being fulfilled. What's the blockage? Eight, eight of pentacles. Uh, this could be work school apprenticeship here. Okay, it could be because of uh, somebody is focused on repetitive tasks repetitive work um, Repetitive things or they feel that there's a lot of work that has to be put into the situation And it's somebody's happiness or material abundance here and luck with a catch or risk involved with this Okay, so There's a person that's like all right There is this is a lot of work and I don't know if I'm completely happy here. And I, and I don't know if this is really worth the risk here with the Clover card energy, right? And for some of you, it could be because of work. It could be because of school, the focus on repetitive things and your material abundance and your happiness and your, your luck here, which you feel like maybe you're not feeling very lucky or maybe you're feeling luck with a catch around your situation. Okay, so let's see what is going on at the foundation here. King of Wands energy. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. So it's like you're wanting to make wise decisions when it comes to your passions and creativity here. But you're feeling left out in the cold here with the Five of Pentacles energy or you're leaving someone out in the cold here with the Five of Pentacles energy because you're feeling like, all right, there's confusion here around this situation. I feel confused. I feel like something's clouded here in the situation with the clouds card. Five represents some kind of challenge or change in making wise decisions, right? Because that's the king energy. So what happened in the past? judgment so this could be something to do with the past a reconciliation it could be a, a renewal or healing that happened here and there was an action towards love and romance somebody was really charitable somebody was really giving when it came to love and romance here and yeah the moon card shows me again romance so for some of you there could have been a reconciliation with somebody from the past for others of you it could have more or less just been you know what there's a healing and a recovery because this person was like really romantic and really caring and loving here and there was a lot of romance involved in the past nights are about action towards love and romance so what's going on at the head of the matter so it feels to me like there's a patient energy here 
there's a patient energy here for an equal give and take. And I still feel like there's a bit of healing going on here because the reason I say that, or there's something to do with a spiritual thing here, um, which is causing some challenges because the reason why I say this is because when I look at this card, it looks like whatever this scarf is that's wrapped around this person's neck to me reminds me of the snake energy. So it's like almost like there's like this feeling of like you're feeling like you're you're not emotional you're feeling like you want balance in your situation something spiritual about this uh something to do with you feel like there is something that's wrapped around you or something that's a challenge to you around this situation okay let's keep going it could be something to do with reminiscing about the past or a reconciliation pertaining to the past and gaining that courage and strength here with the bear card energy or gaining control of this with the bear card energy um, the bear can represent uh, work, it can represent a boss, it can represent a father figure, a mother figure, or just strength. Strength because it's something to do with the past energy and wanting to be patient for an equal give and take here. Six is the healing and recovery and love. So what's going to happen in the near future? Oh my God. Tower card energy. Okay. Um, some big transformations, big changes here. This could happen sooner than you think here because the tower card's here. All right. Um, what do I say about the tower card energy? All right. Car breaking down, tower event, negative but uh, unexpected event that was a negative event. Winning the lottery, sudden event, unexpected event, but a positive event. Remember the tower is not negative or positive. So it's like some big changes, big transformations that are going to be happening soon. Why? Because of uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy or because somebody is being logical here because there was some kind of stability, stableness, or they felt like there was some kind of anchor around this. So this change happened, this transformation happened, this thing happened very fast because there was a person that was like, I need to be wise in my decision making. I need to focus on stability and stableness. I want something to be around for a while with the anchor card energy, or I feel like this is an anchor here. Hmm. Okay, so let's keep going here. What's the influence? Justice. Uh, so the influence is justice in your romantic love life. Wanting justice. Remember, this is legal here. The justice card can be legal. Marriage, divorce, a just truth, a just decision happening here. Why? Because of Page of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, a flirty energy, a message of passion. And there is an isolation or separation around this. Wow, so there's a person that feels like there was some isolation or separation around flirting with you or sending you a message of passion. And it, it was for them like a just choice or a just decision. They wanted justice because of this flirty energy or something to do with this passionate energy here, potential passion. And there is this person that felt isolated or separated from it. Yeah. And almost, I feel like in this card, that it's almost like they still feel like there's something that is off about the situation. Hmm. So the influence being there's an isolation or separation around flirting, message of passion, or an airy Sagittarius Leo energy. And this person wants some kind of justice or there's something legal about this whole situation. Divorce, marriage, or just choice or just decision around it. So something to do with justice or just decision. So let's see what the outcome is going to be. <clears throat> so it looks like we have the Knight of Swords energy. The Knight of Swords energy is showing me that there is something being cut away or cut out here. And again, we're seeing that balance thing going on here you know we have the temperance card which shows me there's a lot about balance in your situation here there's something to do with balance here there's something to do with balance here and something to do with balance here so it's like some you're wanting to cut something away or cut something out or somebody wants a fast moving a action here because they want balance in the situation why <laughs> there we go again balance again two of pentacles there's a weighing of choices or options two of pentacles energy because of love. So there's a there's somebody coming at this very fast because they want a choice made here. They want a heavy choice made here. Anchor can show stability, stableness, or somebody that wants something to be around for a while. And you see that pentacles energy. They want a choice here. They want a choice, just choice, just decision. All right, let's keep going. 
Knight of Pentacles. See, there is a want to go further into a long-term situation here. Knight of Pentacles. Why? <clears throat> because of a choice. So this person wants you to make a choice. This is causing a lot of stress and anxiety for them with this mice card energy about love. Okay, so they want, there's a person here that wants things to go real fast and there's a person that wants to slow things down. And there's a person that wants some, you know, uh, long-term things and there's another person that lives more into more of a passionate kind of thing. And this is causing stress and anxiety or there's a person that feels like something's gonna be taken away pertaining to love. Okay, let's keep going here. Oh my God, Knight of Cups energy? There's an action towards love and romance here. Okay. Wow, there could potentially be a uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, and a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy here. And there needs to be some type of choice. Let's, let's keep going. I'm gonna analyze it after I get done. All right, King of Pentacles, wise choice when it comes to long-term commitments. And there's a, a message or a letter or a secret or a document here. Okay, so there's something being cut away or cut out or somebody wants things to go fast because they want a choice made around love and uh, they're willing to take their time or slow walk things until this choice is made because they feel like there's stress and anxiety around the situation. They want to take an action towards love and romance and be wise in their decision making when it comes to long-term commitments and they're sending you a message some kind of written document, a letter, okay? Because the, the letter card can be any official document. Then we come back here to the influence card and it's saying something to do with a justice. They want justice because of a message of passion and they feel isolated and separated around this. This, this person wants a choice from you and they, it, it's, it's around love and they, they want a long-term situation with you. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Pisces? Can I have some advice for my Pisces for their romantic love life for June 5th to the 30th? Can I have some advice for my Pisces for June 5th to the 30th? Show me the cards I need to see. Oops. One second here, Pisces. Can I have some advice for my Pisces pertaining to their love life for June 5th to the 30th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. See what's going on here. Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. Okay, let's keep going here. Be authentic, be real and true to who you are and how you feel. Okay, so this for me is showing me because of the fact it's like there's a person that wants this to go real fast. They want something cut away or cut out and they want a decision. They want a decision right away. They want an action, right? So Spirit is saying be authentic and go by how you feel about the situation because it seems there's a lot of stress and anxiety because of love and because of this message coming in. And you need to be wise in your decision making when it comes to long-term commitments or something to do with this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy possibly here. So Spirit's like, okay, be real, be true to who you are and how you feel about situation we're making this decision all right so let's get you some understanding what's going on in your career and finance for june what's going on in my pisces career and finance for june 5th to the 30th show me cards i need to see show me the cards i need to see okay knight of swords there it comes out again knight of swords Something doing some fast moving energy, something fast, uh, something being cut away or cut out. Okay, why? Because there's this new opportunity here with this Ace of Cups energy. Something that you're really gonna love here, Ace of Cups energy. And this is actually gonna cause you to go into calmer waters, actually. You're gonna move past your challenges and you're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, there's gonna be challenges. So there's some things that are gonna move really fast in your career and finance here, okay? With this Knight of Swords energy. Could be because of a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. There's gonna be this great opportunity that's gonna come up for you, Ace of uh, Cups, that you're really gonna love. And through this, this is going to move you to where you want to go here you're going to have movement here um, and you're going to move past your challenges into calmer waters in the month of june all right so let's get some advice for you guys can i have some advice for my pisces career and finance for june 5th to 30th show my cards i need to see show my cards i need to see 
Okay, so quiet retreat. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from the inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you will have more clarity about what you wanna do next. So spend some quiet time alone to really think about this, contemplate this, and meditate on this. All right, so let's work on your health and wellness. Can I have some advice for my Pisces health and wellness for June 5th to 30? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh, expect a miracle here. So they're saying with your health and wellness, expect a miracle. Okay, so some good things coming in for you. All right, my Pisces, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. Guys, stay safe. I love you guys so much, and I will be seeing you soon.